wake me up to another good, good morning. Time to go. Got that smile upon my face, 'cause there's excitement in the chase. This I know. Yeah, I'm going for the ride. And by myself, I am alive, and I soar. Still, I run towards the wind and let the challenge draw me in, 'cause I want more. Oh, we are all. So I've come to a very special place today. I'm down on the south coast at the moment and I've come here to do some wrasse fishing. Now, I absolutely love wrasse fishing. I probably get the chance to go once or twice a year, being a seven hour drive for me. But, man, are they one of the most beautiful fish you can catch? They hit really hard and they pull back solid. It's a short and sweet fight, but you hang on for dear life. They're beautiful fish. And hopefully, I'll show you a few on this trip. Now. I've just gone with my standard bass kit. I've got my Savage Gear SG5, 9 to 35 gram, and that's gonna do perfect. That will stop even some very large wrasse. For lures, I'm just gonna keep it simple and stick with the Savage Minnows. I've got tons of them and they've been doing really well for bass back home, so I can't see why they wouldn't work a treat for wrasse as well. At 10 gram head weight, they're perfect for this sort of conditions. There's a little bit of a wind chopping up, but they'll get down nice and solid on a good 20 pound braid. I've also brought my LRF kit with me as well. One of the things I like to do is when, when things get a little bit slow and perhaps the tides aren't quite right, is go around with an LRF rod and search the little rock pools and crevices to see if there's anything in there. Sometimes you can have a whole heap of fun catching stuff like blennies, giant gobies, cork ring wrasse gold sinnies, there's, there's loads and sometimes LRF kit even pulls out a nice fat ballon or two so yeah one of those on a one to five gram rod would be extremely exciting. When you're out on these rocks safety has to come first, they're jagged, dangerous, a bad sip can leave you injured and of course you've got to be very wary of tides and being cut off while you're out here as well. It's not too fun swimming to safety. There we go. Bobby's in the sand. Yeah. Holy shit! That's a ras. <laughs> oh, fantastic. You need the net? No, I'll line him. You sure? Yeah. That's a ballon. That's the one I lost. Back. On the little um, 1 to 5 LRF as well. Yeah, there yeah, we he's go. Got it, he's got it, he's got it. Whoa. He's got my fish. Another wrasse? Yeah, another balance. Oh, that's a pretty one. Oh, I'm in quite close. So. Yeah, got a small one. Have you? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. Better than average. Water clarity is gorgeous here, isn't it? The water clarity is amazing here, isn't it?
Ooh, come here. Changeable weather on the trip consisting of high winds and rain meant we were looking for areas on the landmass that were more sheltered. Unfortunately it meant filming was very difficult, although we managed to capture some of the best bits of the action. You fish for rats very much like you would for perch. Essentially what I'm doing is I'm using a weighted jig. It's a weed that's set up for Savage Minnow so I can bounce it in amongst the rocks and kelp. And I'm allowing it to sink to the bottom, popping it back up. Sink and pop, just like you would for perch, trying to keep some tension on the line so you can feel those little taps. With these rats, it's, it's often just a very faint tap. You set the hook and it's mayhem for 30 seconds. It's not necessarily a long fight, but your heart's in your mouth as the fish dies for the snags and cover and you really hang on with everything your rod's got to keep it out keep it out of that trouble It's, um, it's interesting, it might be a bit small this gully, I say it's... It's quite deep. We find a rat. Beautiful rats on the new Savage Gear Minnow, fantastic call up, put up a hell of a fight on that SG5. Absolutely stunning fish. So if you've never tried it before and you're looking for some fresh adventure, head down to your nearest piece of rocky coastline. Be it with a light bass setup or a heavy perch setup, you can have a lot of fun with rats. LRF rods are definitely worth bringing too.